Anybody come out of last night's game healthy, Coach? Uh... <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, there was some question marks um, on the back end, so we called uh, JBD, and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Possibility that he could play tomorrow? Yes. So Cam Talbot got the lion's share of work at practice this morning. Is the goal to put him in tomorrow? Yeah, he'll go tomorrow. He that, that was the plan all along. Kind of went in a little early last night, but I think that's good. He got some reps in, um, and uh, he'll go tomorrow. Obviously encouraging to see his performance as well uh, in a difficult situation leading into tomorrow's game. Yeah, you could see his confidence um, and just the way he was attacking the puck. Um, you know, obviously it's a short sample size there, but, um, you know, he's coming off, like we said, he's coming off an all-star year, and we've been without him. You know, for the for these games, um, you know, and, and and I think he'll be a big help for us. Couple of players yesterday. Sorry, we'll just one more, Bruce, if you don't mind. A couple of players post game last night said second and third periods, you're reverting back to your team identity. Can you just offer a definition of what that is in your mind? No, and I, I think the first period as well. I don't, I don't think, you know. A bobbling puck that bounces over a guy's stick, that bounces to this guy or that guy, and all of a sudden it's three-one when it should be two to one, um, you know, in a power play goal against, you know, I think sometimes young guys look at the score and and, and that's the way it is. It, certainly the second and third were better than the first, um, but <clears throat> you know, for a team that has as good a defense as they do, for us to get what we got last night, um, you know, uh, whether they were on or weren't on. Um, and the battle back, you know, and then we had a, you know, two on one, partial three on one, what have you, with, with I think nine and a half minutes to go with a chance to tie the game. It was a great effort. Now the moral victories aren't great, but there's some underlying numbers that that we look at that tell us that our record should be certainly better than it is. I get the sense from the way you say that uh, Cam Tell works that what he did in relief surprised you. No, no, that's what an all star goalie does. And uh, I, I think look no further than Carter Hart. I mean, I don't think there's been a better goalie um, this season. He's, his numbers, what he's done, uh, he's gone in and single-handedly beat teams, you know, the, take nothing away from him. Right now, they're likely the hardest working team in hockey. Um, give John Tortorella credit wherever he goes, that's what happens. They work, they block shots, but behind them is a goalie that's been the best goalie in the National Hockey League. How much of that, oh, sorry. though? Um, Claude Giroux, uh, hasn't faced the fire since he left. Will this be an odd afternoon for him or day for him or? I'm sure it is after spending that much time there, but I think he's really transformed into an Ottawa Senator. I mean, he'll always be a flyer for sure. Can't take that away. He played a thousand games there. Um, but his motivation, I'm sure, is to, to beat them. His motivation is to help his teammates win. Best game of the year it was last game. Um, his work ethic, his play away from the puck, his determination was on display. And, you know, when he gives us that, and if he can give us that tomorrow, um, certainly the guys are going to follow. One more thing on Cam Talbot. How much of that was all-star, but how much of that was just the fact that he sat out and he was, like, rearing to get into the game? Absolutely. And he, and he demands uh, he's a presence in our room. I think you've seen it was almost like uh, the players – we're playing for him like they wanted to show him that we, you know we're, we're going to take care of you kind of. They, I think they respect the fact that he's been sitting around unable to play, how hard he works. <clears throat> uh, he knows the game. He knows after games, you know, what we did wrong, what what have you. And I think the, the players felt that energy for him. Given that Warburg's played so many games in the stretch, um, do you think you're going to maybe get Talbot a few more games just to try to even it out? Yeah, for sure. He's been sitting there. I mean, the, the, the goal all along was to kind of go even, and then whoever was playing better would get the more games. Um, you know, unfortunately for Forsey, he's had to play almost all of them. And, you know, um, Talbot's fresh. You know, uh, I expect that he'll come in and do what he has to do, and we'll ride him for a bit. You, uh, you just mentioned a minute ago that you felt like some underlying numbers uh, indicated that your record should be better, and I'm just wondering, five on five, are you satisfied with the – take the score out of the equation – you satisfied with the way your team has carried the play in, at five on five? Well, yeah. I mean, if you look at the underlying numbers, the expected goals for, uh, I think we're 55 percent, around 55 percent, which puts us, I think, seventh in the league, and that's expected goals against and for. So if you take that calculation, I think the number one team right now is Jersey, then Carolina, and I, I believe we're seventh. And I think those numbers in time correlate. 
I think somewhere I saw last year we were 46 percent. Um, those numbers will correlate in time if you can keep those numbers up. You know, so, you know sometimes you, you lose games, um, you know, and you and you may outchance the other team, uh, and it just doesn't work out that way. But over time, those numbers usually are going to indicate uh, more wins. How would you assess maybe where Thomas Shabbat's uh, confidence is at right now? I think um, last night he was certainly better. Um, you know, I think he had a, a tough one in Tampa, and he'd tell you that. Um, but I think you've got yourself a real good player that, that prides himself uh, on being the best. And I think you're going to see him and his over this next little bit, I think you'll see him, his game, step up to another level. You think he's, do you think he's trying to find consistency? Um, I, I'm not worried. Uh, Thomas Schbott, you know, at times we have played him too much, um, you know, when we're trailing in games and what have you. And I think any player in Thomas Schbott, Brady, whoever it is, no matter how good you are, this is a good league. If you make a mistake, it ends up in the net. For defensemen, if you make a mistake, you're the last guy back there, and then, you know, it's, it's on you. I think, you know, uh, Shabby, plenty of nights, is going to be our best player. And, and, and I'm not worried about Thomas Shabbat. You, uh, you moved Jake Sanderson around a little bit on the power play, almost like, a, I guess, to the half wall and paid off last night and did it again in practice. Just wondering what that does for the look of your, your power play, moving Sanderson around. Well, I think Brandy does a nice job at the top as well, distributing the puck. Um, I think Jake looked dangerous on that flank last night. He's able to shoot a one-timer, maybe not Norris-esque, but he can, he can fire it, and it's something you're going to have to get out and, and face or you know he's going to be pounding away, and by coming out, it's going to open up some of the other guys, and I think that's something we've been missing, um, you know. And we'll try that, um, as well as as the you know the other unit that's that's been good, and we can move them around. But you know our power play last couple of games hasn't scored. Um, you know I think yesterday would count. You know it doesn't count the stats, but we scored three seconds after he's out of the box. I think that's one of the things that could be more dangerous for us. Um, is more pressure on the other team to not take penalties. And if that thing gets rolling the way we think it can roll, I think, uh, uh, you know, obviously with the five on five chances that we're getting, we think we'll win some games. And is Magnus Helberg skating right now? Like, what's his, what's his status? Yeah, right now we'll have three guys and we'll see what happens here. I mean, the way goalies get dinged up and what have you, I mean, I think the display he put on in that one game, if I could take it back, I think you'd like to like him to go again and one and see. You know what would happen, but right now Talbot's going to go. Um, you know, he certainly showed me that that he's able to play in this league. So, um, you know, that'll be Pierre's decision as as to what he does there. Uh, but he'll be around here for a bit. Internal competition is always good on a team. Is that what you're trying to create with Gambrell and Brassard? Yeah, Gambrell, Brassard, Kostelik, uh, Pinto for ice time. I mean, these are all you know. Pint's a great great player, going to be a great player, but he has to be pushed and. You know, if he's not going, the next guy's got to take some of his minutes. We need everyone to get it, give us our best, and and we got to put in what we think's the best lineup. Parker Kelly will come back in, um, and then we'll make a decision as at center as to who's not going to play. Just a word on the release that the team put out on the schedule sale with the condition of staying in Ottawa. You've been here for a while now. What do you feel like this team needs in this city? Well, it, it's I I mean I love it. The players love it. The fans are diehard. They're they're passionate. They want to win, and I think it's great that that the team's going to be in Ottawa and going to stay in Ottawa for a long time. There's a lot of good players. They're only going to get better. Uh, this organization is going to continue to get stronger and continue to get better as you see some of these young guys starting to mature into, you know, you don't win last night, but if you're watching Timmy and you're watching Brady, where their progression is now, you know, against arguably some of the best defensemen in the world, Petrangelo and what have you, what they're doing out there, you know, at 20 years old for Timmy special. And, and, and it's going to be good for a long time. And I think the fan base here is outstanding. And I think, um, it, you know, you know it's, it's, it's their choice to, to put the team up for sale. But it's great that they're keeping it in Ottawa. And, and I think the fans in Ottawa um, certainly have supported this team. Also, folks, is there an update on Josh Norris? Has a decision been made there? On no, there hasn't been a decision um, okay. yet. But uh, you know. is he seeking second opinion? Yeah, he is for sure. I mean, he and, yeah. it, and it's his right um, to do so, um, to look into whatever's best for him. Um, you know, it would be great to have him back, but uh, in saying that, we got to move on like as if he's not coming. Any update on who, coach? 
Uh, Zuby is doing a lot better. Uh, skated this morning, not with us. Um, there's a real chance that he could play next week. Um, clearly, um, you know, I, I, I don't know if we won since he's gone out. Um, not to say that it's a, it's all on him, but I think he was playing as good a hockey as he's played this since he's been here. How physical he was, uh, he's able to play against the other team's best players, and uh, and he's a physical force. Any clarification: What is his injury right now? Upper body. All right, next <laughs> <laughs>